Hello everyone, I'm Kevin, otherwise known as Forum BX257. I'm here to bring you another vintage G.I. Joe toy review. And today I'm going to review the APC or Amphibious Personnel Carrier. And before I go on with the uh, the review, I'd like to thank a couple of people. I'd like to thank all 50 plus of my subscribers. Uh, thank you very much for subscribing and thanks to everyone who's been viewing my videos so far. Especially thanks to this guy right here, uh, who's actually uh, pointed out uh, the odd camera shake. The side to side camera shake was actually due to uh, the steady shot feature. The last couple of months, I've actually been uh, fiddling around with my autofocus to uh, no avail. And now back to the review. You gotta love that huge picture of those uh, Pearl Cut G.I. Joe figures on there, eh? The APC itself is a wonderfully designed uh, vehicle. It's, I, I would call it a, uh, a transport truck or an armored truck. It, um, it has wonderful aesthetics and it has this wonderful uh, textured uh, fake canvas top with camouflage on it. The first time uh, a G.I. Joe vehicle has had camouflage. Uh, not, not too many uh, G.I. Joe vehicles have camouflage on them, which is kind of unfortunate. You have to squeeze this thing off. Lift off the front end. And you have space for 28 G.I. Joes. Uh, the seated ones are held in place with these seat belts. They're both removable. And the steering wheel is also removable just in case you find it a little difficult to put, a, uh, put the figure in with that in the way. Now all the figures have foot pegs including the drivers. They also have foot pegs in them and that, hold, that holds them steady without the need of a back post. And the reason for that is if you uh, pull this, pull the rear bumper out, and ever, all your figures and whatnot are secured in there. This thing became a carrying case, and this is what uh, all the eighty-two GI Joe figures look like in the APC. It uh, it fills up about halfway, actually. And here, finally, we have all the nineteen eighty-three GI Joes, and as you can see. Um, well, I've put a uh, tan clutch in place of a uh, tan grunt, which I don't have, loose. But um, basically we would have two, two grand slams and two grunts. And there's still space for three figures, so this is it. Th this is as many figures that was created uh, up until 1983, and um, well, I guess Hasbro may have meant uh, for you to put some either duplicate characters or some captured uh, Cobra figures in there. What I normally do uh, to fill that up, I put uh, Doc's structure in there. Here. It fits just fine over the uh, gap left by just the three uh, empty seats. And you've got a, finally you got a full uh, full roadster of G.I. Joe's in there. And here we are with the good old G.I. Joe dunk test. Um, you didn't think the APC would get away with not being dumped into some water just because we all know this thing, this thing can float. Uh, it was thoroughly advertised as being able to float and it says so even twice on the box. So this thing had better float. <clears throat> One thing uh, I'd like to point out though is I put a full complement of 28 figures in this AP APC and I have to say this thing is significantly heavier than, um, than what I'm used to. That being said, it's still going in the drink. 
And just in case uh, 28 figures wasn't enough to make this thing as heavy as possible, I'm going to put the old uh, covers on. I'm not really sure how much weight this will add, but uh, this is a bit more normal for how you can view an APC anyway. <coughs> sitting really low. It's almost right up to the um, to the covers, uh, the front cap covers uh, uh, opening there. And I'm fairly sure that this thing is actually sitting a bit lower than uh, that it would with maybe two or four figures in here. Yeah, this is a uh, this is significantly uh, deeper, <coughs> but it's still floating, and that's all we really asked for out of the APC, isn't it? <coughs> Look at that drainage. <laughs> that is carrying a lot of water out of just a short dunk. Well, in here, um, there's another item, uh, the killer whale's sled. I was asked to, uh, I was asked why I didn't do this when I did the, uh, whether or not the killer whale floated. And I thought it was rather obvious that this thing does not float. Um, I think I basically said, uh, I basically answered a, a comment or an email saying that, um, no, this does, this does not float. Uh, obviously, something this small, and it does, it does have a completely curved bottom. It displaces its own, uh, its own weight in water, obviously. Uh, but when you add a figure, it, um, well, it doesn't float. And there you have it. And that was my review of the 1983 APC. Thank you for viewing my video, and I'll see you next time with the next Vintage G.I. Joe toy review.